business boom may bring. Tonight, Cal OES is on a heightened state of alert as the biggest storm of the season makes its way to Northern California. Now, with flood prone areas and burn scars top of mind, the Office of Emergency Services is monitoring weather conditions around the clock. CBS 13 Sharon Roger is live now from the emergency headquarters in Mather with a look at some of the areas they're focusing on tonight, Sharon. Yeah, Christina and Tony, as the storm begins to move in, Cal OES has teams, personnel, equipment ready to go. They say they're doing everything they can to prevent what happened in Santa Barbara County with the mudslides. And up north here, burn scars, areas hit hard by last winter, are the focus. Her bedroom's upstairs. Last month, heavy rains devastated Santa Barbara County with flash floods and mudslides that turned deadly. And now, as a new system rolls in, evacuation warnings are going out. We want to make sure that what happened in January doesn't happen again. Cal OES says it still has crews down south, part of the recovery effort, and are on high alert with personnel in place. If we need to get people evacuated, that we're ahead of the weather. In Northern California, this will be the biggest storm of the season. We're watching Napa County, we're watching Sonoma County, Santa Rosa. That whole area is really the biggest concern for us up north. Eyes are on the area scorched from last October's devastating wildfires, the burn scars, high risk for flood. Knowing that the rain is coming, we have teams, uh, USAR teams, we have personnel, we have equipment that are ready to go. The Office of Emergency Services says this latest winter storm is long overdue, a sharp difference from what we saw last year. Areas hit hard from last winter's brutal storms are being closely monitored, including Placer County and Butte County, where we had the Oroville spillway situation and threat of flooding downstream. Those repairs are ongoing. We want to make sure that whatever work is happening up there isn't compromised by incoming storms. With significant rain and as much as seven feet of snow and whiteout conditions expected, OES hopes everyone who's traveling in the Sierra takes the warning seriously. So you should have food for three days in the event that you get stuck somewhere. Now, officials tell me right now things are calm. They have not activated their state operations center, but if there is a big in incident, they're ready to do so at a moment's notice. Lots of hardworking people tonight. Sure, and thanks.